Okay, everyone, so I know you're dying to see Saturn in the Ascar 140. So right now it's been cooling at least 45 minutes. I have it on the EQ6 and we're gonna take a look at Saturn. And we got a almost full moon right there, but Saturn is just above that tree. So let's get to it. Okay, so let's take a look at Saturn. I didn't put a finder scope. That is better. Yeah, I mean, I found it. Let's pump up the power a tiny bit. Maybe like a 24.5 millimeter super wide uh, Mi 4000 Japan. Let's center it and boost up the power. We really see Titan in line with the ring. Okay. To me, the edge on or almost edge on is not my favorite thing. Just because looking at the face on on the rings, it's just much nicer. However, that's a nice image. Uh, let me see what power I'm at. 146 power. Okay, let's bump it up to a 4.7 ultra wide meat. Japan. Uh, 4000 series, not the 5000 series. And I believe it gets us 209 power. Semi big. And uh, looks okay. Now, if I put it two times more low, that's over 400 power. I don't know if that's going to be too much, but I'm going to give it a shot. And let me tell you what I think. I mean, not bad. It's very big, but could it be more crisp and clear? Let me see. Now that I tried to block the light, give me a few minutes to just take a quick look. A little separation, so it's not exactly edge on as you guys know, but you can kind of see it just wrap around. So has a little bit of tilt and I can see a little bit of space between the ring and the sphere of the planet. I believe I see two moons if that's a moon there. Let me back it down one power just to see if it clears up more but I, I am at really high power right now. 6.7 with the two times bar low. Oh okay this is a nice view as well. Okay just gonna look at it for a bit. I think I like this view better. The other one was also very good, but this one just to, seems to have some sh more sharpness to it. I could still see the ring, the gap in the ring between the ring and the planet. I do see a little different color variation uh, on the planet itself, on the southern part. It's a little bit darker, but it's, it is nice when you see the rings tilted towards us but that's still a very good view. I think this power is just shy of 300, and then the other one was like 420. Even a 420 still looked pretty good, but I think at this power, 300-ish, it looks just a tad more sharper. Let me see if I can show it to you guys and you tell me what I think. Now I'm gonna back off the power a little bit uh, because putting the cell phone to it is already uh, kind of hard. A cell phone is not really an astral camera, as you guys know. Or maybe I'll go up to the 4.7, which is 109 power. So let me focus it. Okay, let me lock it down so it doesn't move. And let me get the other cell phone, my camera adapter. This is the new camera adapter I have. Uh, hopefully, I don't it for you guys but uh, yeah I'm not sure when that one's coming out so maybe I won't say anything until I know for sure okay let me go get my second iPhone now what I like about this iPhone here is that it only has one camera this is the iPhone X and I noticed lately I'm switching to recording on this one just because on uh, the one that I'm recording at right now uh, it has three um, cameras and I notice every time you try to get to one it refocuses because all three what iPhone or Apple says tries to combine 
uh, they work together. So when you're in that close, you know, and you're trying to focus on one of them, it all, sometimes switches to the other camera and the other, and then you're kind of going all the time, playing around, going to each camera. Uh, so that's kind of pain in the butt. This one also works at 4K, but it's just one camera. This doesn't do long exposure like my newer one, but uh, I think it'll be easier, so let me give it a go. I'm not perfectly polar aligned. As you see, it's heading up, but hopefully you guys enjoyed that uh, little small view of Saturn. It's not as good as what I see in the eyepiece, but it gives you a little taste. Anyway, um, like, comment, and subscribe. If you know anybody getting into the hobby, please share my channel. If you're on the forums and maybe someone's asked about this telescope and how it performs, uh, share my link if you like. And once a month, I do a video strictly for the members. Uh, it doesn't go public, so if you'd like to see a video that you don't see on the regular format, uh, you can join. It's only 99 cents. I kind of touched the focusing, so I don't know if I made it worse. But uh, anyway, guys, so that Saturn looked 10 times better in the eyepiece. I'm really enjoying this telescope. It could be my new favorite large-ish one. It's portable, it's not too heavy, it's good quality. Anyway, I'll let the uh, planet float while I end the video, and uh, hopefully you guys like that, uh, or at least a part of it. So, uh, Jupiter comes out way too late, probably, I would say, around 3.30, so that's not going to work for a weekday, not any time soon. I'll wait another, like, two months till it comes out at about 10.30, 11, and uh, there we go. It's too bad I can't see any of that detail on the planet like I saw on the eyepiece, but uh, that's okay. This is cell phone astronomy. It will never be as good as an astro camera or your eyes, but um, there you go. Why not you? Why not me?